Hey, hey, thank you for watching my channel. I am the Divine Maverick, also known as the mother of twins, helping you along this twin flame journey. If this is your first time watching my channel, thank you so much for being here. I need to tell you that I have two small dogs that are here and they make noise and they bark, but they help me with the reading. They're always doing something over there spiritual. So if something grabs my attention, I will let you know. Chelsea and why did I say Chelsea? Chelsea's my other dog on the other side, but China and Sydney are here. Hey, Chelsea. Chelsea must be in here somewhere. But um, this is a message for you um, to help you see in what area of your life should you display more confidence. So we're going to get some messages from uh, the Doreen Virtue deck, uh, which I will find the Archangel uh, Gabriel deck from Doreen Virtue, as well as the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms deck boop, and the Light Savers, <coughs> not Light Savers, Light Workers Tarot. So uh, with that, we will get started. I want to remind you that anything that you need to know about me can be found down below in the description box. Uh, my website is thedivinemaverick.com. I would love to work with you on the telephone. I only work on the telephone. Occasionally, I do special readings that I offer, and I give you a voice memo with your message, but uh, rarely do I do emails. I like to talk to you or interact with your energy, you know, get all up in your, through your head and everything and spend a little time with you. So don't be fooled out here with these scammers. Please be vigilant. Please be wise. Um, I am also doing a special this month, $20, two questions, feeling real good about that. So much fun, a way to get in and out, get some clarity. If that's something that's interesting to you and you want, want to be a part of that, again, everything I'm talking about, including my t-shirts, including my other messages that you can purchase or download, uh, is found on my website, including ways to get connected with the Maverick School, which is now launching. Uh, I moved it back to October 1 because Spirit said moving back to October 1 uh, because there is something else that's being added, uh, which I will talk to you all about that as we begin to start. So enrolling now all the way up until uh, August, August, October 1 will be now the new official start date. Again, more on that later. Uh, let's get right into this message now, though. Thank you for your patience with my intro. I don't talk to y'all a whole lot about what's going on because I just say sign up for my website, uh, my mailing list on the website. And when I send out email blasts, which I promise you, I will not bombard your e in your inbox with a bunch of useless clutter. I'll only, uh, you know, talk to you when I need to talk to you to share some things with you. So uh, if you sign up for my mailing list, you'll keep up with what's happening in Ascension City. All right. So. Where, what areas can you can you show more confidence when, in what area of your life, all right? Let's see, let's see. Let's get, I don't know, we might get a few of these. Daily practice. All right, so there's something new that you've started. There's a new skill that you've learned. There's a new skill that you have been working diligently at, trying to become more proficient at it. I don't know what it is. I don't know why I'm hearing <laughs> like basket weaving or uh, knitting, crocheting, something like that. It could be um, uh, an, an artist. You could be an artist, a painter, um, a sculptor, something in in the something that you create with your hands. But <clears throat> excuse me, or could be speaking because my throat chakra was doing something. But with daily practice, this is uh, about you you getting more confident the more you practice your new skill. So that's what spirit is saying. You can be more confident in the skill that you, that you are now moving in and, and, and having some, a bit of success for some of you, you know, you're seeing some movement, you're seeing some increase, you're seeing some, there's a buzz around you. There's some, some chatter in a good way about what you're creating. And so the more you practice your new skills, the more confident, confident you'll become. So spirit is saying practice makes perfect. Let's clarify it a little bit more. So daily practice is the message. This is how you become more confident. You do something repeatedly you do or say the magician so you guys many of you are master manifestors many of you have very powerful minds so you probably deal with a lot of um uh having to to wade through wade in the water but wade through deception or manipulation or just you know making sure it's not your your mind getting away from you or you you're believing a lie or something that's false false evidence appearing real right so you might deal with a lot of fear like i said and anxiety and worry but you're coming up as the magician which lets me know that everything that you need is right at your fingertips and you are learning uh uh, uh every every month you're getting better and better at manifesting your desires and also 
discovering your gifts and your talents and your abilities. And so Spirit is saying daily practice, you know, with your rituals, with your magic, with your mantras, with your affirmations, with your music, with your dance, with your writing, with your speaking, with your uh, practicing your instrument, if you play a musical instrument. Uh, if those of you who work with money, your figures, the more you are immersed in your craft, the more you are immersed in this new skill set, the more you uh, trust yourself, the more confident you're going to become. So that's the aspect of your life where you need to become more confident uh, in, in believing that the more you do it, the better you'll get. Also, uh, you my practice on guarding your, your, your mind from uh, lower vibrational thoughts like lack thoughts, any thoughts of lack or loss, uh, learning how to uh, squash that nine of swords energy, which is all about anxiety and worry and depression, you know, unnatural fears, that kind of thing. Just, you know, like, like an unnatural fear of spiders or bugs or meaning you just go, you just shut down. Like ah, you can't even think, you know what I mean? So, uh, daily practice on, on thinking positively, daily practice on guarding your mind, daily practice on disciplining your thoughts so that you can create the life you want and not experience, you know, things in your life that you don't want. Third card, there's it is fear again working on those stinking thoughts working on those low vibrational thoughts even the fears that try to kind of haunt you even the temptations you know the the, the being tempted or lured into a a, 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 a a I heard sunken sunken place or a dark split a dark place okay um the Capricorn energy is here Gemini energy is here um Aries energy is here Virgo energy is also here and uh but anyway coming out of the fear and a lot of this has to do with the way you feel about what you do or who you are and what you are becoming. So a lot of this feels very mental. Okay. It's very mental with the magician. It's, it, it has to do with the mind. It has to do with what do you believe? Which, which, which narrative are you going to believe? Five of cups. It's out, it's about coming out of sadness and regrets and sorrow and remorse and practicing daily. Um, uh, <laughs> y'all, I promise you it sounds like my dog is unpacking a suitcase under this desk. I don't know. She's chewing on a bone or something. But again, it, it, it sounds like she's practicing on being good at this bone, right? I don't know. But anyway, but the sound kind of kind of drew me in because it sounds like somebody's packing. You know, the more you um, pack it and unpack it is what I'm hearing, the more proficient you'll become or the more. And this feels like a message. Maybe some of you are orators or messengers or curators even. You 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 uh, you uh acquire things. And so the more you learn to to sell it or learn to uh, describe it, this because this has to do with learning how to describe something so that you can present it to the market or, or present it to the audience or present it to your consumer, your customer, somebody, because this is about consumption of goods. You, so some of you are, like I said earlier, creating things and the more you make these or the more you practice at this or the more you uh, distribute this or the more, again, you you uh, work at the formula or the mix, the better at it you become. So again, daily practice is an area of your life where you need to become more confident, okay? In, in, in trusting yourself, doing it, knowing and understanding that no mistakes uh uh, there are no mistakes, but everything happens for a reason and through trial and error, the answer will find you. Okay. So take it, you know, give yourself a break and, and just, you know, be happy about where you are, you know, and what you, what you've accomplished thus far. Okay. So I'll leave that right there. That's an area. Is there something else? Um, what you don't see helping you. I'll look at the bottom of this deck right here, what you don't see helping you. Okay. There's going to be outside help and support for some of you, that, especially the ones of you that are writing, um, especially uh, this message for those of you who are definitely writing something. Again, there's that consumption of good. So this is um, uh, blogs. This this is uh, these are creators, but there is uh, an outside support, maybe somebody proofreading your work. Maybe somebody helping you edit. Don't try to do everything on your own. You know, be more confident in reaching out for help because your writing or other creative projects benefit from outside help and support. So uh, specifically the card says editor, but I'm picking up other messages that there's other people that can kind of give you an opinion. And it's not that you're going to, you know, change everything you're doing, but it's kind of like you're, you're going to get another set of eyes on something. Okay. Another set of eyes, another set of ears, another set of hands, even just kind of saying, what do you think of this? You might even find somebody, I'm hearing find somebody else to model the jewelry or find somebody else to model the clothes. Okay. Something like that. So you're going to be getting some outside 
be open and, and be more confident in opening up um, some of the creative projects you have and ask for help and support from others, especially others that are doing what you want to do and where you are, they are where you want to be or where you're, you're aspiring to be, or they also have some sort of expertise that you want to acquire from them. So again, don't be uh, uh, shy about opening up and asking for help and know and understand you'll be divinely guided when you do it. So in other words, the people that you are gravitating towards are the people that are destined for you in the first place or anyway, right? All right. So let's get a message from the wisdom of the hidden realms. And I appreciate you. And I hope these messages gave you something to grow on. This is about the securitous root. I love this. This is the spiral dancer card. I'm seeing the number five out here. The number one is out here. The number uh, nine is out here. And what else? Uh, and another five. Is this two fives? So there's two fives here. So already endings and complete changes, you know, big, big changes, conflict, coming out of the conflict and, and changing, you know, um, old patterns. Okay. So again, you're realizing that I said something about trial and error a few moments ago, and that's what I feel like you've discovered through through trial and error that uh, there are no mistakes. You're you're finding answers through what we call it the roundabout way. A lot of you, you know what I mean. So that's why they're saying just keep going, keep practicing. It'll start to become very natural, and you become way more confident than you are even now. So the spiral dancer moves on with her own rhythm and steps to the music only she can hear. Okay, again. The more you practice, so especially if you're doing something that's a bit off the beaten path, that's a bit unusual, that's a bit unorthodox, Spirit is saying you are supposed to move to the beat of your own drum, moving to the, the sound of your own music, right? She takes you on a path that is a, that is winding and circular. She assures you that what you're experiencing as a setback is really part of an upward spiral. Perception is everything. You're not retracing your steps or going backward, but rather around and up. Okay. So that is that magician energy that we're talking about saying how your mind can sometimes play tricks on you and you feel like you're actually stagnant or taking a step back, but really it's just going in a, in a, in a circular motion. It's not, and you're going up, you're not stopped. You're not blocked. You haven't backtracked, but you're actually moving forward. So perception is everything. That's why it's important with this nine of swords showing out here in this five of cups, that sadness and that worry and that anxiety. It's important for you to take daily practice or practice daily on guarding your mind. All right. So it says perception is everything. We said that, uh, the, the spiral dancer says that you can be comforted knowing that your path is one of success, adventure, and experience. Some of y'all need to write that on a yellow sticky note and put it on your bathroom mirror or your refrigerator. Success, adventure, and experience is, is my path. You know what I mean? That's an affirmation all day. So follow the spiral dancer for she dances along a magical way. If you're asking about a relationship, Keep on dancing and magic will soon happen. Also, it's okay to allow someone else to take the lead at this time. Okay, so that might be something else you can practice is getting out of that monkey mind and letting things unfold naturally and letting maybe the person that you're dealing with kind of uh, uh, determine the flow and the tempo and the rhythm of the relationship. That's a, that's letting go of control and surrendering and allowing the magic of this journey to take place. Think about it. Also, it says make sure to let others know that you're open Always remember that relationships are mirrors and will show you the past, the present, and the potential future. All relationships have a destiny. Each is a sacred teacher with valuable lessons to share, even if it appears that the two of you are dancing in different directions. All the steps are perfect, even when you may seem to be stumbling. The spiral dancer is a reminder that destiny's true path is seldom straight. All right. So that is the advice from spirit. That's a very, very good card. Remember, you're not going straight. You're going all around and around and around. But while you're going around and around, you're learning many things, trying new things, practicing daily, getting more confident at it. And also you're moving up. You're not stuck. You're actually moving up. OK, so I appreciate your time. You guys, if you need anything from me, please. The divinemaverick.com is my website. I would love to spend some time with you all up in your energy. Until we meet again, guys, take care of yourselves and each other. I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Bye.